What is going on traders? Thomas here from VegaFX. Hope you've all had a great trading week and a great start to the new year. Today we're going to be covering over the cable short that was taken on Thursday. This is the second trade that I've taken this year. We did take a loss on GJ last week. I think the yen is still moving quite inefficiently, but we have more than made up for that loss this week. We called this one out both in the community and on my Instagram, so make sure to follow my socials if you do want to see more education and calls moving forward. And I will be giving my Vega Academy out to one of you guys in the comments to enter simply comment something that held you back last year in your trading and that you're going to fix this year so looking at the daily time frame on cable guys what can we see we can see that there is highs being broken but each time the market breaks through a high it is less aggressive each time we can see that there was a high here broken retraced and then by here the market broke this very weakly and the market rejected almost immediately the following day so we already have one liquidity sweep here that we're going to draw now we can see that the market is moving up with these black imbalanced candles we do have a blue imbalanced candle here we call this fresh imbalance i will cover this in the next youtube video guys but this is basically simply when um, there is an imbalance of the opposite direction we can see that all of these black candles are bullish this is the first bearish imbalance candle we mark this blue well our indicator does this for us you can find a link to that in the description we know that the market is now in balance to the downside there has been sellers coming to the market this has happened obviously just after this sweep of liquidity and we do have more liquidity here they're drawing volatility zones guys fresh in balance um many of you will be asking why it's not by here and we've drawn it to cover the extreme simply because we do ignore doji candles or handles of this body size when we are drawing our zones so it's good to actually cover the whole extreme like this so the market has not only swept liquidity formed fresh imbalance to the downside and this is the daily time frame so we know that there is big players that have been coming into the market by here to force the market down and also see that there is liquidity beneath here that may be swept at a later point and we do have liquidity that's been built up. You can see just by here that has also been swept. We're going to come down to the 50 minute time frame now, guys. This is what we use for our main analysis. As said, the market has come up. It's retraced back below this. This is around Frankfurt Open, guys. We can see that at the moment there is a lack of volume in the market. Obviously, we are in January. There is going to be less volume on average overall you can see that the market does spike up when a large amount of orders have been fulfilled in the market you can actually see it correlates with imbalance coming up big players coming in market coming back and it retests where the origination of those orders are and that correlates with these spikes in volume you can see the same by here the market comes back into these regions same by here spike in volume if you do want to get your volume indicator looking like this guys simply add the trading view default indicator to your chart go to the settings add volume ma by here and then go on to this by here and turn it onto columns you can just leave it on a line doesn't look as pretty um if you do want to make it look like mine you press, press columns and then make it a dark color preferably a similar color to your chart appearance we do get a sweep by here, guys. Now, this is just before Frankfurt open. I'm just going to start playing the price now. We can see that my indicator decides to mark it. The, there is actually a small amount of imbalance by here, and this is marking the candle blue. Now, if you notice, guys, there's not even been a, um, a break in structure yet. The market has wicked under this. We are already looking for a trade setup by here simply because imbalance has come into the market of a new direction marking it fresh and blue and you've got this spike in volume here during Frankfurt open so we know what's happening on the higher time frame you've had a weakening bullish uptrend you get a sweep of liquidity the market comes down with fresh imbalance and then the same is happening on this smaller time frame you can see that there's localized liquidity in this structure the market is gradually weakening over time with its bricks you can see that the market is breaking retracing breaking retracing the liquidity above the asian session is getting swept guys and then you've had this significant structure sweep by here and you've got this down move with fresh imbalance and above average volume 
Now, the market doesn't come back immediately. We had already had our order set here. You do come onto the hourly if you did want to draw another volatility zone. You do have this as well. This candle should be marked. And we're going to go on to the 15 minute time frame. We're going to set our order here. You could have your order set here. If you do want to protect yourself from localized liquidity, guys, just in case the market does sweep, you can have your stop loss set above the highest piece of structure. And obviously you can um, increase your stop loss depending on your risk tolerance. But we know that most of the liquidity is swept. You can get away with having a very small stop loss. Where you want to target, guys, on this, I personally like to do hard targets of 5 to 10 up. You can put your TP to the bottom of the market rollover candles. This is where there's going to be a lot of liquidity up here and um, not enough volume behind it to actually reject the market. You could even target down here where the rest of this liquidity lies. I will delete this just because I know a lot of you don't like the color red too much. I'm going to start paying price now. That's the end of the video, guys. If you did enjoy or want to see more, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to follow me on my socials for more educational content and calls. If you did want to enter that giveaway, make sure to comment something that negatively affected your trading last year that you're working on fixing. I will catch you in the next video where we will delve into more education on the concepts we use. Hope you all have a great trading week. Peace out.